if I weren't involved in GS Tag, I'd probably be right along with the kids in my neighborhood fighting. Getting in trouble. That's what I'd be doing. I'd probably be working at McDonald's or something. I wouldn't be going on as many college tours and being involved in community-based stuff. I'd probably be sitting in the house talking on the phone or on the computer. I can't imagine my life without this program anymore. If you want to get out of high school, you got to think you getting out of high school first, right? If you don't first believe in yourself, who is going to believe in you? Peace. Peace. Love. Love. Respect. Respect. You are responsible for what happens to you. There's nothing you cannot do. Your possibilities are unlimited. See it, believe it, hold on to it, know it, know that you know that you know that this is what I'm going to do and do it. Generation Success, Teens Achieving Greatness is a youth leadership academy catalyzed by the Cuyahoga Metropolitan Housing Authority. Initially established as Do the Right Thing in 1992, the Academy focuses on leadership skills, work ethic, and educational achievement for high school-aged youth who are residents of CMHA and carry at least a 2.5 GPA. The name change occurred in 2008. The students chose an identity that would better reflect their goals and aspirations. The program helps the students envision a positive future. We get a lot of hands-on exposure to other settings and schools and colleges and a whole bunch of different opportunities outside of just CMHA and outside of Cleveland. Before I got here, I had no type of interview skills, no skills at, basically skills at all. It puts you around a group of people that are similar to you and that are good influences. GS Tech helps me to be out in the real world and know how I did so when it's time for me to be on my own. I won't be struggling. It's instilling leadership qualities in everyone and in a group and it's giving us the mindset to succeed. You get to see like a different world. The benefits that GS Tag have given me is to become a leader and lead on the young teens in my neighborhood that's not doing what they're supposed to do. It's amazing just how intelligent our young people are. And not only that, but wanting to do so much. We're taking this Leadership Academy to other places. I'm a resident of Althwaite, UCMHA. It's different because like, all this violence, police run through it all the time. Up until the 9th and 12th grade, I started staying at Sierra States, which is within CMHA. It was kind of a little bit rough. There was a lot of people that wanted to fight down there. I didn't move into CMHA until I was 11 years old and into the old Cedar States. It was a whole lot harder to concentrate on schoolwork. Me being chosen out of everyone in my neighborhood, I was given a great opportunity, you know, because a lot of people ask, can they get in the group? And I really don't know how to get them in the group. I mean, <laughs> They gotta get their sales in it. I think more than anything, the mindset is a willingness to succeed and a desire to succeed. And given the backgrounds and the environments they come from, it's really a desire to make a difference, starting with themselves, to stay in school, to go to work, and to create a positive future for themselves. No matter how smart you are, if you're not doing anything, it has no purpose. We need to use our mind more, and if we use our mind, we can envision a great future. We're going to set standards higher so we can all achieve greatness. What does not kill me makes me stronger, which is the truth, really, because um, it is. <laughs> <laughs> the Academy is built on a foundation of core values, two of which were included by the students, respect, respect. and authenticity. authenticity. Respect for themselves and others, including the community in which they live. Authenticity. It's important that the students are able to be themselves and to honor other people who are true to themselves. Other values include excellence, a commitment to education, an entrepreneurial spirit, and heart-centeredness, which encompasses empathy, compassion, and a passion, commitment, and courage to do what it takes to achieve. Everyone needs help in, the, in this world, and we all need to be pushed a little bit. Leaders put themselves in circumstances um, that other people haven't gone before. That's why they're the leader. They're like, I'm going first. 
So this is something called a trust exercise. The Academy's philosophy also encompasses the importance of relationship building, verbal and written communication, neighborhood stewardship, abundance thinking, creativity, and finally, the core principle around which all of these revolve, a sense of self-awareness and self-accomplishment. Being the best you that you can possibly be, understanding who you are, and to really understand that you are responsible for what happens to you in life. That you're more than qualified to fulfill your dreams, but it takes work. I want you to play around with this idea that the, all the qualities that you admire in other people, you actually possess yourself. You might not practice them on a daily basis, but if you literally can say, I am generous, I am creative, I am all the things that you admire in others, and you actually make that your sort of thing that you say to yourself every day over and over, it's your mantra, I am these things, you will believe it, you will become it. I have a challenge, I am outspoken, I'm a leader, I'm a money maker, I'm a boss, I'm untouchable. I am helpful, I am successful, I am educated, I am smart, I am creative. Caring, helpful, loving, thankful, generous. I'm smart, I'm educated, I'm helpful, I'm loving, I'm crazy, and I'm me. Nice. I am curious, I am strong, I am authentic, I am independent, I am good-spirited, I am encouraging, I am calm, I am good-hearted, and I am open-minded. I've learned that I can be a very positive person at times, but I also can be somebody that's very not nice. I learned how to let negative things not get to me and just think positive all the time. I don't know, I like have a, a wall towards everybody, so it kind of got broke down when I met GS Tag. I don't have to always be mean to everybody that I don't know. Like, it's, it's a real, you know, uh, a life learned lesson. People look at me more than what I expected, like I'm a, I'm a natural born leader and I do have the ability to influence people. So that makes me work harder to influence people in a positive direction. I learned that sometimes like when the hardest thing comes, that's when I shine the best. So I'm learning that I'm getting better at adapting at, in new environments and adapting to new people and places. I really wasn't a people person before, but now I'm starting to see that I am a people person. What I learned about myself is I never knew I would be doing something like this, like being in the leadership academy, having a job, being some, some people's role models. I am smart. That's not something I always grew up thinking, my, thinking about myself mentally. It's something I had to develop a, a positive outlook on myself. The GS Tag students gathered together once each week, discussing issues relevant to the group, planning visits to campuses and campgrounds, and welcoming visitors. At these meetings, the seeds of success are planted. Our philosophy is in order to achieve, you gotta believe and never deceive the capability of any possibility for versatility is the best ability. Did you catch that? When you have an opportunity to make an impact on the life of a child, a young adult, that's better than a paycheck. Besides being a dynamic motivational speaker, Nathan Phillips is president of NLL Enterprise, a corporate consulting firm, as well as president of No Limit Leaders, a youth initiative program here in Cleveland. But he hasn't always been on the straight and narrow. I grew up in the inner city of Cleveland. Uh, my dad was killed when I was five. My mother passed of a heart attack when I was about 15, going on 16 years old. And I had been on my own ever since then. And I made a lot of mistakes in life, you know, with alcohol, drugs, bad decisions. But I kind of stayed the course while I was making those mistakes. And I knew that if I had you know, the guidance of a productive parent that was in my life or someone adult to lead me, I know I would have ended up better. If I got Pookie the weed head, Pookie the weed head, my cousin. Mine too. <laughs> Shanique with a popper. Right. Ray Ray the car thief. 
Kenny, the guru, can get you anything you want, need, at midnight around the corner. Stay sharp, connected, no nobody know what he do. <laughs> and Steve, Ooh, Steve, welfare guru. Those are the five closest people around me. What kind of conversation are we gonna have? Nathan shares a similar background with the students and uses his experiences to talk to young people in ways that they can relate. You know how to eat sugar sandwiches when the lunch meat runs out. You know how to put cardboard, you know, in your sneakers when you got a hole in them until the next pair of hush puppies can be bought. You know how to come home when there's no parent at home. So coming from that environment and coming from, you know, settings and, and making mistakes that, you know, they're apt to make right now is, is very, very important. If you want to get out of high school, you got to think you getting out of high school first, right? Because check this out, you got to think it. I thought it, I caught it, now it's mine. Can't no hater take it. I am going to be a lawyer. Shut up, you from the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Nate Phillips just engages young people and can really capture their imagination and encourage them to dream and imagine for themselves what may be possible. Individuals that think negative all day, every day long are toxic individuals and having your circle of influence is the reason that you circle yourself with individuals that are like-minded. Having key people in your life, day-to-day -day involvement that will encourage you. I wanna be an astronaut, way to go. Partnership is key to the success of GS Tag. Cleveland Public Theater artists tap into the students' creativity. E-City provides entrepreneurial training. The Cleveland Scholarship Program offers career exploration tools to help the students discover their own unique talents, presenting them with a suitable college and career path. They support the students in their search for financial aid and educate them on the various scholarships that may be available. The students also visit a number of college campuses, giving them unique exposure to their future possibilities. We're also affordable. We have one of the low lowest tuition in Ohio. Money is available. This is like where everything happens. As you can tell, there's a whole bunch of people here right now. Computer labs over here. We also have a laptop rental program. You guys can get laptops for free at any time. New student union over here. There's going to be fireplaces in this thing, there's going to be a restaurant, food court, bookstore, student organization offices. We offer students 100% of the time. Bio labs, um, We're micro. physics labs, microbiology lab, everything. We're actually a big research university. A lot of undergraduate students do research. Um, one of the actual tour guys is actually doing research right now on polymers. There's some people working on cancer cures and things like that. You have to begin to determine what it is that you want. Where do you want to be? A year from now, five years from now, 20 years from now. And the only way you can make that determination is having a positive, constructive spirit right now. I know you're going to come to Kent State because you look like you're ready to take on the world. <laughs> All right? And that's the attitude that you have to take as young people. If you don't first believe in yourself, no matter how difficult the world is around you, who's going to believe in you? Who's the armor? Becoming part of the GS Tag Leadership Academy also involves having and holding a job. Students are placed at different sites within CMHA. A job for these students fills more than the basic need of having an income. The whole point is for you to have a working experience. It prepares you to move on, up, and out. It makes me feel good inside that I know I got a lot of people caring about me and willing to sacrifice for me. Without this job, I probably wouldn't even be thinking about college or thinking about going to take my ACT or anything like that. The experience level is different from just flipping burgers. You learn actual business careers that people 
are involved in instead of just a regular job. And some of the qualities I believe you need in a workplace like this is patience. Because sometimes, you know, you might be feeling one way, but you can't display your emotions a lot when you're around, like, um, residents and stuff. It gave me a lot of discipline. I feel like a leader. I feel like I accomplished a lot doing this. Because I never finished anything. And it's finished. I absolutely love it. You know, that, that whole idea of, you know, now you're really feeling your self-awareness, you know, I have a job, I can do this, and it's also part of the responsibility of caring for yourself. A major factor in caring for yourself involves maintaining a balance between work and play. For the GS TAG students, play includes a few nights in the Cuyahoga Valley National Recreation Area. It's really important to have the opportunity for the students to be completely removed from their environment and be in a different place that maybe allows them to relax a little bit, to not think about some of the daily stressors that they may face, and really just a chance to have fun. At camp, the students have their own lodge, where they eat, sleep, and partake in various activities together, bonding even further as a team of young leaders. This is one of the oldest trees that we have in the forest. This one, and if you saw that really big one on the right as you were passing. The other white pines you pointed out are these trees that look kind of fluffy. When a young person uh, comes before me and they're shy, and when they get that togetherness with the group, they automatically, I think, become stronger. You can see the confidence start to grow right in the class. And it just gets a sense of, uh, you're just basically more courage. And it really, really is magic to see it all happen. Especially in the inner city with our young people who sometimes have so many other distractions going on. you to dig deep down. Peace. Peace. Love. Love. Respect. Respect. For everybody. For everybody. When people spend this much time together and share so many experiences, a special relationship is formed. Within GS Tag, that relationship is not limited to students. Every adult we come in contact with, we kind of have a, we kind of form a bond or a special relationship with them. And Mr. Dale, she she stick with us, because if formerly if I would have had her job, I would have been gone, because we give her a hard time, just by being us, teenagers. The most important thing to build is trust. And trust can only come with time, and it can only come with a sense from the students that you care. They're like a, a mother and father, like, you go to them, you can tell them anything you want to, and they're there for you and they help you. I love my kids. Matter of fact, when they see me, they run, they hug me. Some of them call me mom, you know, and so forth. So it's a wonderful relationship. So the interesting thing, we're going to keep coming back to this, about group dynamics is that a group has to be able to handle their differences to able to get to cohesion to feeling close. And it doesn't sound logical, does it? Yes, it does. Like when you play basketball or whatever, or a team sport, you might be fast, but I might be tall. If we come together, we got a tall and fast thing. So that's why I think if you understand the problems, it brings you closer. Of course, every relationship has its challenges. I'm checking out. I feel better. <laughs> And one thing I think can improve our group is if we shut up and listen to each other sometimes. Yes. Because we don't. The checkout is the end of the day. It's a process where you've 
discovered maybe a little bit more about you and your contribution to the Academy. One of the things that most impresses me is how they self-manage. If one of them is doing something that they believe isn't along the lines of the values of the Academy, one of the students will call them on it. Let one person talk at a time, because I don't understand y'all, when six people be talking at once, respect each other, and have love for one another. A little bit of trust, I guess. Our group needs productivity. We kind of talk about the issues we have in and possible ways to solve them. So it's like a lot of open communication and learning not how to judge people from where they come from. Because at the end of the day, we all kind of the same. You'll never know someone until you meet them and it's different point of views. And it's like a puzzle. I mean, everybody comes from different places, but together it's a your whole. It's really beautiful to see. And I think, I think they really, they truly care about each other. I love everyone in GS10, formally and foremost. We are family. As the year comes to an end, how do we measure the students' progress? Motivational speaker Nathan Phillips offers his impressions. What they've done with these young adults already is very impressive because they were already in tune, they were focused, they were here knowing what their mission is, they were attentive, and then they shared. And they were very, very respectful, which are cornerstones of the philosophy and the values that this program was instilling with the information that they shared with me from the very beginning. It looks good on black and white, but is it making an impact? Is it taking effect on the students? And what I saw when I walked in was what was on black and white that I read. CMHA Real Estate and Development Administrator Donovan Duncan completed the program when it was named Do the Right Thing. It changed his life. The program and the relationships I made through the program help instill the man I am today. A lot of times growing up in an area of poverty, you're not afforded the opportunities of seeing people striving for success. It really helped me see that I can go to college, you know, I can, you know, pursue a master's degree, I can I can be, you know, the director of the department. It really gave me both those professional and personal skill sets to really strive to do better. Inner city students face constant challenges trying to envision and strive for a positive future. The Cuyahoga Metropolitan Housing Authority has put GSTAG in place to create an environment where in this generation and in every generation to come, teens can achieve greatness. It is our responsibility as adults not to tell them what they want, not to encourage them to live a dream that isn't theirs, but to be there in support of helping them to be the best them that they can possibly be. I plan on majoring in mechanical engineering. Uh, once I graduate, I want to work for NASA. I want to send somebody to Mars. My personal goals when I got out of school are to go to college and be a pediatrician. I want to own a business. I, don't, I never see myself working under somebody else. I want to pursue my education and business administration so I can own my own business one day and, you know, give back to my community. I want to get a four-year degree in business administration. By 2016, I want to have my bachelor's degree in nursing. I was thinking about dancing with the New York City Ballet. I want to become a professional writer. Go to Harvard and I want to be a lawyer there. And then after that, I want to do a lot of stuff, work in politics and work in the environment. So I want to come back to Cleveland and try to give Cleveland what I learned from other places and try to get our city back as a star. I know it can be. We call ourselves GS Tag.